Hello everybody. This is a brief tutorial to show you on how to stream media to uh, a TV with an Android device. Um, first thing you're going to need is your Android phone, so I'm going to be using my Thunderbolt again. And the second thing you're going to need is either a TV or a set-top box or something that supports DLNA or uh, UPnP, which is Universal Plug-and-Play. Uh, my TV supports it and then so does the PS3 so you can actually use both and I'll actually show you a brief um, I'll show you both of them actually as to how to do it um, so right now my TV is uh, connected to just a cable which I don't have anything plugged into it because I have a digital box but uh, right now uh, on my phone I'm going to show you this app it's called iMedia Share and it's great I love it Notice you're going to have to connect to your own local Wi-Fi. It's not going to work through 3G data because this is just going through the router. Um, you can actually share photos, music, videos. Um, right now I'm going to actually, let's do like a, I'll show my screenshots that I've taken lately. And you, you just select your device. On here I'm selecting my TV from the list. And then on my TV, it shows my media. Now, it's really, really small, but it does work. I switch it on the, on the phone, and it switches on the TV. Now, it also works for video. Uh, uh, this is a video that I took in my car when I was having some issues with it, but should play the video just fine. Or not. How about the drunk guy? Okay. So your device has to support the the file type. Um, let's see if I go into SD card. One of these movies will probably work actually because I know it supports this file type. Ah, see, you have to have a, your device has to support the same file types or um, some active transcoding has to go on. That's, that was lucky number 11 real quick to show you that it does work. Uh, music works just fine as well. And so next I'm going to show you if you have a PS3 how to quickly do that. So I'm just going to change the source on the TV to uh, my PS3, which I actually have to hook up. So just give me one second. So now I have my PS3 hooked up. And first things first, you got to sign into the network because without that, your um, video sources will not show. And you go to video, and you gotta search for a media server once you have it on. Well, let's load up the app again. Search for media servers. This is definitely going to pull up at least my computer, which is how I usually stream media. Oh, and I just picked up the second one. I think that's my phone. Yeah, so here's the phone. And you can do video, music, and photos. Now, if I do video, I'm going to try that same... Uh, uh, let 
me try that same thing. Let's see. I want to try my SD card video again, or the camera video. Go to now playing as prompted by this. See if the PS3 supports the native video. Yes, it does. So there's my car. When I turn it on, I get issues. Well, I, I used to. I actually got that fixed. But um, that's that video. There's a drunk guy in the bar. Uh, might show. Oh, yeah, it's going to show up sideways. And, yep. Okay. So that's a quick tutorial on how to stream video to your uh, TV or PlayStation. I, I do not have an Xbox 360, but it does work exactly the same way. Um, you just have to go into however you would stream video. I actually don't know because I've never owned an Xbox 360 nor played with one for very much. So, um, yep, that's a quick tutorial on how to do it on a device that doesn't have the uh, uh, a native streaming built in. The iMediaShare app works really good and I do like it a lot. All right.